All right, welcome back in. The Northwood football team has been almost unbeatable the last couple years. A big reason why the Rangers dynamic duo of Jay Moten and Damon Marks, they continue to lead the way, but their journey to becoming football stars has been full of bumps in the road. This has become an all too familiar sight for opposing defenses. Whether it's a highlight reel run or throw from Jay Moten or an ankle breaking move from Damon Marks, these two are a nightmare for anyone playing against Northwood. For Moten, his first chance to shine came three years ago as a freshman. With the team facing injuries in week seven, he was forced into duty much earlier than ever anticipated. We told Jay about probably 20 minutes for kickoff, 25 minutes for kickoff, hey, you're going to start, play the whole game. Uh, so when we went to team warm up, he fumbled the ball the first four plays, two handoffs and two snaps. And we're just looking at each other like, uh oh, <laughs> this may not go well. Uh, and, and at halftime, he had thrown four touchdown passes, had a 50 yard run, and we're up by 42. So he's been a starter ever since. But growing up, things didn't always come easy for Moten and Marks. The two are brothers. They share the same mom, but have different dads. For both Moten and Marks, they really never had relationships with their dads growing up. They bounced around schools, and even coming into high school, they weren't always sure where they would be staying. Their mom made the difficult choice to hand over guardianship to the boys so they would have their best chance to succeed. She always wanted what was best for their future. It was hard, you know, like, it's a lot of things that I wanted to call my dad for, but he wasn't really around, and we would talk on and off, but not as much as I wanted. But my mom is like a soldier, you know. My mom did everything for us. Uh, it was very difficult. Um, miss her a lot sometimes, and, well, all the time. Uh, but we knew that it was like a good thing for the long run. It was gonna help us get to where we need to be. Uh, before coming to Northwood, we had no idea what high school was gonna go to. Uh, it kind of just like, just like happened. That makes the relationship between Moten and Marks even that much more important. Through all of the uncertainty in their life, the one constant has been that they have each other. We've been uh, together since we were born, uh, we just grew up together and we had to take care of each other at some points. We had to worry about each other and I feel like that made us close, like it's a bond nobody could break. That's, I don't know, that's my partner, like Batman and Robin. It's just deeper than football and everything. Without him, it's no me, to be honest. Just having him right on the side of me like every day playing football, you know, I can call him for anything, he called me for anything, just knowing he there, I don't know, and just having him on his journey with me, just, I wouldn't have, I'd rather have nobody else with me. Set, go. Along that journey, life has thrown them some curveballs. When they had nowhere else to stay, Rangers football coach Ken James opened his home to the brothers. For James, his high school football coach was his mentor growing up, and he knows how powerful that can be. Having that experience of having somebody step in and help me out like that, as I got older, I realized how important that was just for my development as a human being and in my career. So I just want to try to give that to, you know, back, give that back to the high school kids. I think to be, you know, I, I look at being in education as being in the service industry. Um, and uh, um, for me, you know, we're serving kids and, and uh, uh, we're trying to give them the best, you know, the best experience they can have. James has been coaching for 35 years at Northwood. He still loves what he does and the kids still love him. The impact he has on young lives goes way beyond the football field. Uh, he was he a big part of my life. He changed my life in a lot of different ways. He brought me into the school. Uh, he has let me live at his house. Um, he just been like a like an extra dad in a way. Man, it's a blessing, you know. I coach somebody like Coach James. But like since the first day I met him, he been just real with me, like just honest. And any anytime I need something, he's there, you know. Even when I need somewhere to stay, he was there. I stayed with him for a few months, you know. It's kind of like a, like a dad to me, too. So I respect him to the fullest. He's a dad to a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people can tell you that. It's all family, you know. And then, like, it's like we way bigger than just a, a coach and a, a player, you know. It's like, like family, you know. I could come to him about anything on the field, off the field, whatever. Even, even when I graduate, you know, I'm still going to be able to come to him, talk to him about anything. Through all of the ups and downs and all of the rough patches in their lives, the goal is still to go to college and play football for as long as they can. Right now, that goal is in sight, and they're hoping all of the hard work is about to pay off. I honestly feel like it's a movie. Like, I feel like I've seen this in a movie before. I feel like all these like, bad things and like, like stuff that I, like setbacks, I feel like all this is going to pay off. That's why I know if I keep grinding the way I am, it's going to pay off. That's why I keep going hard as I can.
Northwood won big tonight over Montpelier to improve to 3 0. Moten and Marks both had huge games. They combined for five touchdowns and over 300 yards of total offense. All right, time for another break. When we come back, our game night live broadcast between Rossford and Genoa. Right here, we'll have those highlights when we return on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday.